And this is our build so far. What we have here is a three inch by three inch by three inch triangle tube, 30 inches long, made out of one piece of foam board, actually about a half a piece of the foam board. <clears throat> Attached on the back here is a V-tail. The V-tail material goes in here, another two and a half by two and a half inch square. I've removed the paper from the, this side of the tail so that it would glue to the inside better and not loosen up. Once I got them glued on there, I glued them also to the to each other down here with hot glue and their foam or uh, I'm sorry packing tape across here to give it reinforcement. It's very strong. One inch elevators connected by servo horns. For the servo horns, I had already covered this in the tape. I just traced out the footprint of the servo horn and then I chipped out all the foam down to the tape on the other side not all the way through chipped it out filled it with foam, with hot glue set it in set the servo horn in the hot glue piled up the smoothed up the hot glue around the base of the servo horn <clears throat> and once it's set up it's a very nice connection <clears throat> here we have our uh, push rod our servo push rod for the um, elevators is three push rods uh, one going one way, two going the other. They overlap about an inch, covered them in foam, in, I'm sorry, in hot glue. And then uh, once that's set up, I covered that with some heat shriek tubing. And it makes for a very strong and durable push rod that's very effective. The servo for the ele elevators is mounted way up in there with a two-sided tape. Nice and strong. We have our... aileron servo wires that will tuck down once it's attached to the wing and the wing uh, will be attached to the top with rubber bands those are extensions you got to have some extensions if you want to do it right this is our latch here hatch here with a uh, one simple a washer taped on here and a rare earth magnet here holds it nice and snug it's nice and sleek fits great <clears throat> and of course always double reinforce your hatch because Ed said so thanks Ed we'll hook it up and see what the elevators look like we're gonna be running about a 1500 kV motor so I'll be mounting that on the front and that will uh, be pushing about a 8 by 3 prop That'll work pretty well. I'm going to use a little aluminum angle and um, mount that probably up at the top. Here's our elevators up and down. Nice and strong. Good articulation. Because of the angle, I did make a little bit of an angle in on this um, elevator just because uh, that would look cool the thing is what you know it's the important thing is is getting this angle right on the direction that this servo horn faces uh, so if you uh, aren't real good with your math or you can't go and get the angle good it's probably best just to make this straight that way as the push rod goes back and forth and these elevators articulate back and forth or up and down uh, you don't get that bind I'm almost on the bind, but um, yeah, I got it pretty good. It works pretty well. And that's our build so far.